which AWS certification is right for me. So you're thinking about getting AWS certified. That's great. Cloud computing skills are in huge demand, and whether you're looking to take your career to the next level or jump into a new field, the right certification can help you open the door to some life-changing opportunities. But where do you begin? AWS offers 10 individual certifications, spread across four different levels. Figuring out where to start, and which AWS certification is right for you and your career goals, can seem super intimidating at first. Fortunately, once you figure out what's what, the path usually becomes pretty clear. Before taking a look at the different certifications, it's important to take a moment to explore what certifications are, and what they are not. Certifications are a proof of knowledge, in that you are proficient enough to pass the exam. Certifications are not a proof of experience, there is no substitute for actually working in the cloud. Certifications are door openers, they can get you into the interview, or the consideration set for promotion. Certifications are not golden tickets, they do not ensure a job. They can tee you up for success, but you have to earn it from there. Certifications are rather valuable. The average salaries for holders of AWS certifications are well over $100,000 per year. There are 10 distinct certifications, spread across four experience levels, foundational, associate, professional, and specialty. AWS Foundational Level Certifications Certifications AWS Cloud Practitioner, Foundational Scope, 10 Depth, 2 Prerequisites, none. Recommended experience, six months of AWS and industry knowledge. It's probably for you if you need to know foundational cloud concepts and how AWS works at a high level, but won't be getting your hands dirty with implementation. Every journey starts somewhere. For AWS, that starting point is a foundational certification. Since there is only one certification at the foundational level, we're just going to combine our discussion of the level and the individual certification. AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Foundational The AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification gives you a high-level introduction to AWS. It doesn't go deep on any particular services, instead providing a general overview of how AWS is structured. We recommend our AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course is the best place to start for anyone who's new to cloud computing. This will help you build the er, foundation you'll need as you delve deeper into the inner workings of AWS. AWS Associate Level Certifications AWS Certified Solutions Architect, Associate AWS Certified Developer, Associate AWS Certified SysOps Administrator, Associate Scope, 8 Depth, 4 Recommended Experience, 1 year of experience working in AWS to solve problems and implement solutions. It's probably for you if, you're going to be working in AWS in any capacity and need a firm grounding for actually working in the cloud. If you're going to be working in AWS in any hands-on capacity, the associate level certification should mark the point where your journey truly begins. AWS Cloud Practitioner provides a solid conceptual footing, but the AWS associate level certifications are where the rubber really meets the road in terms of day-to-day -day implementation. AWS Certified Solutions Architect, Associate The AWS Certified Solutions Architect, Associate certification gives you a broad overview of AWS, and forms a valuable foundation on which you can build everything else you learn moving forward. There's a reason it's been the number one cloud certification for four years running. The CSA-Associate certification focuses on the core AWS services, like Identity and Access Management, IAM, Virtual Private Cloud, VPC, S3, and EC2. Studying these core services will give you a good understanding of how AWS approaches security, networking, data storage, and compute capability. AWS Certified Developer, Associate You might think this cert is for developers, after all it says developer right there, but it's really for anyone who uses AWS. In terms of focus, this AWS certification takes you deeper into services like DynamoDB, Elastic Beanstalk, SQS, and SNS, but not too deep. It also expects you to know a bit more about how you would use these services, as well as how they present themselves to the outside world through APIs and SDKs. AWS Certified SysOps Administrator, Associate 
This certification is also somewhat misleading. It's not only for sysops admins. It's for anyone who runs things on AWS. This exam goes rather in depth on CloudWatch, among other things. Going through this certification gives you a much stronger grasp of what's actually going on in your AWS architecture. A word to the wise. SysOps admin is widely regarded as the hardest AWS associate certification. But it's really valuable to finish off all of the associates before taking on the much harder professional exams. The professionals expect you know everything about the associate level exams like the back of your hand, so skipping one, particularly the hardest one, could come back to bite you. AWS Professional Level Certifications AWS Certified Solutions Architect, Professional AWS Certified DevOps Engineer, Professional Scope, 10 Depth, 8 Recommended Experience, 2 years of comprehensive experience using AWS, with comprehensive experience designing, operating, and troubleshooting solutions. It's probably for you if, you're already experienced working in AWS, have mastered your AWS associate level certifications, and are ready to take the next step. If you're not sure if you're ready to pursue an AWS professional level certification, you're probably not. These exams are no joke, represent the pinnacle of AWS certification, and are both broad in scope and deep in focus. You have to know a whole lot about a whole lot. AWS Certified Solutions Architect, Professional AWS Certified Solutions Architect, Professional is the pinnacle of general AWS expertise. With an CSA Pro Cert, you should be equipped to take any AWS feature or service and make good use of it. Also, because you understand the ecosystem at a deep level, it'll be much easier to stay up to date as AWS keeps changing. For the Solutions Architect, Pro, every single service in the entire AWS ecosystem is in play, and quite a bit of depth is required in specific areas like Security and Direct Connect. Snagging this certification is not for the faint of heart, you pretty much have to know all the things about all the things AWS has to offer. AWS Certified DevOps Engineer, Professional DevOps is all about combining development, operations, and a quality mindset to shepherd systems through time. This exam reflects that, and really requires you to think about not just static systems that are deployed once, but systems that change and evolve over time. While CSA Pro is an all encompassing elephant of a certification, DevOps Engineer, Professional actually goes deeper into specific areas like deployments and life cycles, and services like Cloud Formation and Ops Works. On whole, though, it has a rather narrower scope. AWS Specialty Certifications AWS Certified Advanced Networking, Specialty AWS Certified Big Data, Specialty AWS Certified Security, Specialty AWS Certified Machine Learning, Specialty Scope, 3 Depth, 10 Recommended Experience, 2-5 to five years of hands-on experience and advanced knowledge of AWS in the specific specialty area it's probably for you if, you're already highly experienced in a specific area of AWS, and are ready to validate that experience and take the next step in your career. AWS Specialty Certifications dive extremely deep on narrow focus areas, specifically networking, big data, security, and machine learning. Like the pro-level certs, they are not to be approached lightly, and multiple years of hands-on professional experience in each specialty domain is highly recommended. AWS Certified Advanced Networking, Specialty The Advanced Networking Certification digs into both hybrid and AWS-only networks, and includes aspects such as multi-region setups and cost optimization. It's not an all-encompassing cert, there are some services that you don't need to know anything about, but where it does focus, it goes very deep. You need to know absolutely everything about certain services like Direct Connect, Border Gateway Protocol, BGP, and Routing. AWS Certified Big Data, Specialty This certification focuses on all the data services, especially Redshift, Kinesis, DynamoDB, and Elastic MapReduce. Exactly what you'd expect for a big data certification. But it also includes some things you might not have expected, such as Internet of Things and Machine Learning. Data security is also covered, with this cert roping in features such as Key Management Service, KSM, and Hardware Security Modules. HSM AWS Certified Security Specialty 
Of the four specialty certifications, security is the broadest. It only makes sense, security cuts across a ton of other domains, so this cert is less focused on specific services. Still, it does go into depth on a number of security-specific services, such as Identity and Access Management IAM, Virtual Private Cloud VPC, Key Management Service KMS, CloudTrail, AWS Config, and Web Application Firewall WAF. Some of the most common questions on this exam have you figuring out how different security settings interact or conflict. AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty Machine Learning Speciality is the newest AWS certification and focuses on, well, machine learning. Imagine that. You will be expected to demonstrate an understanding of the underlying concepts of machine learning, such as data collection and analysis, modeling, and machine learning algorithms, as well as proficiency with Kinesis for streaming data collection and SageMaker for building, training, tuning, and deploying machine learning models. Which AWS certification is right for you? Okay. So we've got 10 total certifications, for now, spread across multiple levels and discipline areas. If you're the sort who just has to collect them all, more power to you. But what if you're following a more focused track, or pondering a career change into cloud computing? What certification should you go after? It depends.